Hey guys, TechMech911 here, also known as Computer Stuff 101, and I just had a little rant about um, Apple. I mean, I love Apple. I have it on this computer, uh, Mac OS X Snow Leopard. They are a great, great company. I mean, if you look at the consistently the consistency uh, of Mac or not Mac Apple. They come out with new iPods every year on a consistent basis. New iPhones, now iPads, have joined the uh, ring there. But I just had a little rant about the Apple iOS. Uh, now if you look here, I have a picture of the original iPhone. Uh, it has iOS, of course. I'm missing the App Store, of course, because it was the first version. Uh, this has the camera no video capabilities at all uh it was missing m m s uh copy cut and paste uh, just the simple stuff i mean Apple should have had that from the beginning i mean granted this this phone started it all i mean uh it revolutionized the phone industry i mean all that used to be out there was windows uh phones and blackberries stuff like that palms actually I don't even know if palms were out then but there weren't much choices I mean this was like the first touch screen good touch screen at least phone with a good operating system everything was fine then but uh... There, no MMS people were really upset about that no video uh... camera recording unless you jailbreaked it or jailbroke it my bad uh... next I have a picture of the iPhone 3G. Now, it's got the same old operating system. Still no video capabilities. Had messaging. Eventually they updated it. Put the App Store on there, which revolutionized the whole platform. Uh, instead of it up to the 3GS. New hardware, etc. Along with the 3G, had new hardware. Finally added video capabilities. Uh, people were happy with that. Then, the new iPhone. Uh, yeah, flash, etc. Very good camera. And the iPad, no cameras, unfortunately. Still, the same old operating system, which is the point I'm about to get to. And iPad 2, new cameras, just released, um, Still, same old operating system. Now, let's get to that. What do you see in these pictures? Look at the operating system. What do you see? All the same until you get to the iPhone 4. They finally added folders, as you can see there. And you can finally add a background. These were options that should have been there from the start, guys. I mean, honestly, come on. They should have been there. And they're bragging about how they have it now. I mean, I'm a big fan of the iPod Touch and iPhone, but come on. <sighs> Here, same iOS 4, same old operating system except with folders and the background. Finally editable. No live wallpapers, no nothing. I myself have an Android capable de device. Um, I have a live paper wallpaper running, it is the Nexus one. Uh, another thing I like about Android is that on the lock screen you have options to customize your lock screen to where it's actually useful and not just a lock screen. You can set a calendar on there, uh, clock on there, just, there's a bunch of different options with Android that I believe Mac, or not Mac, uh, Apple should put into their iOS software. They really need to fix this for iOS 5. Um, they need to get rid of the notification um, box thing uh, for an Android system. Let me just go ahead and show you. Let's pull up the Evo. Up here, as you can see, is your notification. It shows you the time, battery, signal, 4G or 3G vibrate or sound level, Bluetooth, and navigation. Also, when you have a text, it shows up in there. Now, with um, with the iOS, um, it 
it comes up with this big intrusive I'll just use this comes up with this big intrusive box right in the middle of your phone that stops everything that you are doing everything that's annoying now um also what i dislike about ios is the um uh how it doesn't have true multitasking um it has app switching not multitasking which means if you double tap the home button it shows up shows all your uh apps that you have open or running on the uh on the bottom of the screen you can close out of them open them go to them whatever this is just app switching on the evo not just the evo any android capable device it has true multitasking now uh granted this does drain your battery if you don't exit out of the applications properly which is why i have an application called advanced task killer so you can close out of it after like 30 minutes is what I have mine set on, set on so it doesn't kill my battery. Uh, but yeah, that's what Apple needs to do. They need to fix notifications, uh, add a little, just revamp the whole iOS system. Add a notification bar to where they don't have the intrusive boxes. That is annoying stops everything you're doing if you're playing a game boom pops up that's just annoying they i mean you can have all the best hardware in the world which uh apple for their I I ios devices they just released the ipad 2 right here uh it has a awesome dual core processor which doubles the performance of uh processing and nine times better graphics supposedly um but they really need to revamp this iOS system. I mean, it's great as it is, but it's getting stale. Very, very stale and old. It's annoying. Um, they just need to switch some things up. I'm not complaining. I'm not a Mac or, Mac or Apple hater. But um, this needs to be addressed. As I said, I have Mac running on my other hard drive. Uh... This is just Windows 7. I have a Hackintosh, so I don't have the full Mac it's a Mac experience. Uh, well, I do, but it's not a real Mac. So this has just been a little rant. Hope you guys enjoyed. Put your opinions in the box below. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This has been TechMac911, also known as Computer Stuff 101, and I am out.